This is my lawn as of today. It is thick, beautiful, and has a nice base layer of green. But it wasn't like that a couple of weeks ago. It actually went into quite the funk once we got our first little taste of summer. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to take your lawn out of said summer funk while utilizing the OO25 Green Kick product in conjunction with a little irrigation. This is my Provista in early to mid June when I decided I was gonna go ahead and stress it to the max a little bit and not water it for quite a bit of time. I just wanted to see what it would do. I wanted to see if it would go into dormancy and it did just that, especially after having to scalp down these seed heads, as you can see right here. Did that to the whole lawn right before it got dry and boy was it stressed to the max. But I knew there was something I could do to speed up that recovery process being that I was gonna start irrigating and I was fully committed to the point where I wouldn't have to worry about the lawn going back into summer dormancy. Okay, we're going at the high rate, so let me give her a shake. By the way, one thing I've learned after using these products in the professional field, since I have a lawn care business, is when you're shaking buckets, jugs, whatever it is, you wanna turn the jug upside down a little bit just to kind of work all the material through. And then flip it back around, do this for like 20, 30 seconds or so, get it nice and agitated, and then go ahead and mix. In our case, there's not really a whole lot of mixing, just gonna spray it through the hose end. Our application rate, two to five ounces per thousand. And we're gonna do this every 14 to 21 days on the lawn when I see fit. So it's gonna be more than just a one and done. You're gonna wanna do this a couple times. So, <clears throat> let's pop that off. Now, when you're spraying herbicides, you should always wear gloves, but this is a fertilizer, so it won't hurt you. But if you were to mix it with a herbicide and a backpack sprayer, you do always want to wear gloves. Very important. So, I'm going at the high rate because I want to boost this recovery as much as I can. So, five ounces per thousand, we got 5,000 square feet. Sprayed down 0025 at five ounces per thousand, and boy, I gotta say, this lawn lit up nice and green. Now, one thing I did for a little bit of an extra push is I decided to spike in some aerate and 002 a couple of days later, as that's what I'm running in my fertilizer route for my business. I was like, eh, what the heck? I got Provista here, let's apply it and see what happens. And I gotta say, the results are very nice given the fact that they were both done seven days apart. The OO25 was done 12 days ago, and the Aerate and Microgreen was done about seven days ago. I'd say that's looking pretty good, and that's post-spring scalping to get rid of the seed heads, so it's looking really good. Look at that. Nice and double dark, I would say. I haven't even done liquid iron on this yet, at least not a higher concentrated form than the 002, so. Yeah, looks really good. Nice and double dark. And a lot of good's happening down underneath in the soil too, so. It's a win-win both up and down.